If you're stuck shooting indoors, a window light is a great technique for you to use. It creates this really soft and natural, just beautiful light. So if you're shooting people, um, it's a great, great option for you. So there are a few things to keep in mind. Um, as we talked about in the white balance video, if you're using a window light and you're shooting indoors, so you don't have white balance issues, make sure you turn off any tungsten lamps or fluorescent lights. Um, so basically you just want to make sure that your light source is only that window or other windows. All right, so we talked to you guys about window lighting in the studio, and now we wanted to bring you on location in a real life situation uh, so you can see the results from what we're doing. First thing to take note of is that we have eliminated all of the light sources except for the window light. So just having that one main light source, that one type of lighting ensures that we won't have any white balance issues. Um, the second thing I want you guys to pay attention to is we're going to start Lacey really close to the window and then slowly move her away. And so we want you to notice how the intensity of the light changes and also how the light reacts to her face as we kind of angle her differently. Uh, so we'll start out with a really big side lighting and then we'll kind of turn her so the window is more in front of her. All right, so let's take some photos and see what happens. All right, so we started with the window directly on the right side of her face. Now we're going to turn her a little bit towards the window. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of those, some of the shadows that were on this side of her face and under her nose will be eliminated. So now we're going to move her even further away from the window. And what you'll notice is that the intensity of the light changes, so it gets softer. Here are a few more examples of how using a window as your main light source can really give you some awesome photos. Now keep in mind that you want to make sure all the other light sources are turned off so you don't have white balance issues. Also remember that the intensity of that light will change as you move your subject closer or farther away from the window.